Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Just my phone let me know. I'm yes, yes, I know. I've started my stream. My name is Callie, aka Mary. I'm playing some more Horizon Forbidden West. I gotta close this. I don't have so many damn things. Come on. There we go. Live scene. Yep. That's good. Side, fell back over grab. You know what? I oh, will just meander on down to here. See what I can discover on the way. Unknown charger site. You can't jump that, really. shortcut around here. Where are we going, buddy? Right, 
let's start buying some new stuff around the way. Ooh. I will get that tall knife, though. on it and maybe explore in here for a bit maybe I do part mission and then I do part side stuff well I'll at least get one story mission
Doesn't look like there's any way to climb this tarmac. Oh, is it locked? Do I have to get the... Okay, it's locked right now. Well, at least I discovered it. Cool. I might have to get to, like, near any of them. Run over. Oh, a peccary. Might as well. Oh. Do a main story quest, might do some missions, so. Uh some jobs to upgrade resources I can. Well, I think it's better if I just... Well, maybe I just... Discover the regions. First to go hunting. over now. Oh, a heal monster? I'll save this for a dire. A chuck wallow, whatever the fuck that is. Close to Ether's location. Guy said it would be in some kind of physical processor. Oh, this is where I'm going to be. What's his face? Hokaro. I think this is where I meet Hokaro. An ancient ruin. Turned into a Tanakh stronghold? Could Ether be inside? Around's not going to be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Many more soldiers killed since. Hagala's army only grows in strength. She struck a blow to us at the embassy. This much is true, but we are made of steel. We will not yield. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight. But still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes. You are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's... there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. All right, Hikaro. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief.
These visions, you said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. Who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh. Passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. But chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regatta. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. All right, let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come. Be welcome among the records of the Ten. Come soldier of ten. It's glitched. Incomplete. Joint Force Ten at Led by the Ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. Before the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. Aloy. I was hoping we'd run into each other again after the flood and bleeding mark. Atika. So you did it. You're part of the Chief's Guard now. It wasn't an easy choice, but yes. After you left, we laid Kentuck to rest and I thought about what he said. He served his clan, his tribe, as best as he could. I have to do the same. I'm sure he'd be proud. And he'd reprimand me for allowing myself to be distracted. <laughs> Can't have that. Thank you again, Aloy. Strike true as the ten. The 
The visions have inspired many. Take all the time you need. There we go. Sorry, bathroom break. I'm telling Granny goodnight. Little sniffer, sniffer dog. You want upsies? Come here. Come here. You want to sit up here with me? There you go. Come sit up here with me. For a bit, anyway, until you decide you don't want it anymore. Hello. Yes. My little doggo. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. During their war, the Ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. 
You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. The Ten Up. What's this one about? The Ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat, a land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the Desert Clan does the same. You must have passed through their territory on the way here. I did. They seem a little extreme. They take that as a compliment. Oh, hey, I can talk to her. You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones, but now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh's territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her, but then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. Do you These want voices down? came from the final battle of the old ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. I've already found a recording. I'll take any you find. Uh, let me give you something for it. What their stack webbing? Cross claw. I don't I wanna uh These voices will be kept here. They will be remembered. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. Oops. Let's make sure I was on live streams. We should learn those lessons and honor those who fell. That is our way. 
Do you get many Osirum Delvers in Tanakh's territory? Fewer every time we catch them. But those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who will risk coming here. And what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. Alive. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. In the jungle, sealed by the darkness, trap their enemies. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. All right, time to go meet Hikaru. Chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I want to look that? around more first. As you will. Alrighty, what is this? The Let's chief go. waits beyond. Ready? I'm ready. Good. Come. underneath the throne. I will see you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. Gosh. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. And a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemy. And I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too. If you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone? 
you could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Route. I've sent out a call for the competition, but since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Cool Route. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did, on the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke. And what they said changed everything. What did the Old One say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans, trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne, you went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hummed with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the cool route? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base, protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All to not respect strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Catalo? Can't he do it by himself? He is maimed. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Catalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. What exactly is the Cool Route? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the Cool Route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. 
These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounce the clan that birthed them and pledge themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. Which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation, one she will never be free from. So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian, that peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashav. He will be missed. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Dekka on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Hikaro said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. 
ascended slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. I'd better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. I'll be faster if I ride a machine. I'll come back and do this rebel camp, definitely. for these soon enough. This image is of the old ones. structure. Is that it, maybe?
the image was taken overlooking a field. Maybe I could try to line it up somewhere in the nearby hills. Structure looks like the one in the image. I think I might be close to where it was taken. That did it. Please, stranger, help me kill this thing. Should we believe it now? Now the tide's turned. I 
way. Please, stay here. A life is at stake. You've got to help my friend. Wait. Slow down and explain. Matea and I were heading south with supplies from Saltbite when machines attacked. I left her behind so I could get help from the Grove and ran straight into another machine. Thank the Ten you were here to help. So your friend is still up the road, fighting machines? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'll bail her out if I can. You go on and get those reinforcements. Will do. I'm in your debt. Better to knock should be somewhere up the road. Sled. Minus the supplies and the Tanakh soldier. It looks like the Tanakh tried to salvage some supplies after getting attacked. They dropped them? A running battle? Maybe they can lead me to the other soldier. Keep some extra on hand. There. Tracks from the missing Tanakh. It looks like the other Tanakh ran off this way. It must be the other Tanakh. Hey! Vita sent me! By the ten, that lump made it. I thought we were both finished. Let's clear out these machines!
Thanks. If you hadn't shown up, I would have been machine grist. All I did was give your friend here a little time to come to the rescue. Ah, you're full of it. I barely escaped with my life on the road. That, I believe. I, uh, hope some of your supplies are still usable. Me too. Food's always scarce. The soldiers at the Grove need the rations. No way we can trek back north to Saltbite to get more. I'll get this one back on her feet, and we'll scrape what's left of our haul with the dirt. Mmm, you're making me hungry. Thanks, Outlander. We won't forget what you did. Stay safe, both of you. Getting steeper, air is getting cold. Should be getting close to stone crust.
Prepared. Probably can't enter. No? Gotta part ways with this machine for now. This must be Stonecrest. Katoa should be waiting for me. But maybe I should look around first.
honorable pain. Is that the you. champion from the Outland. east I see? Come and then I have something to share. Down in the valley. What you've done for my people is known throughout the clan lands, Easterners. I'd like to help you if I can, lending you my eyes and ears. Nothing happens in this area without me knowing about it. In fact, I should tell you. They say you're a skilled fighter, Outlander. But I wonder how well you'd do against Ureo, one of our combat trainers at the Bulwark. Pretty sure I can hold my own, but it's always room to learn. Well said. Pay Ureo a visit if you can. Maybe I will. Is it still up there? The crushing carcass, maybe. Word is the chief's champion to get head on. Not bad. Where's Catalo? Greetings, What's he looking at? Okay. He's writing. It's Corja. This valley is infested with Regalus rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The Bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. If he insists on defying Hikaru's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal aren't gonna change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here, talking to you. Why do you think Regala's forces are driving machines through the valley? We've heard similar reports from across the clan lands. The rebels are gathering machines from the wilds, but whatever control they have over them doesn't seem to last. So they herd them into camps. Something else happens there. Something... Something that makes their control permanent. An override with two phases. I don't know about that. But it gets worse. We've heard rumors that the rebels are scouting larger machines. I don't know what kind. Let's hope they don't learn how to override them, too. Hmm. What makes you so sure Takote won't listen to us? A snake safe in its lair. He has nothing but its own rattle. Come on, is that all you've got for me? Hikaru said you were from the Sky Clan before becoming a marshal. I need to know what you know. Takote is a petty, vindictive schemer. If he had any guts, he would have gone after Hikaru long ago. But instead, he covets the chiefdom from behind the bulwark, biding his time, hoping that his foes will weaken one another. Is that enough for you? For now? What is this place? Stonecrest was built as an outpost, back when the clans were still at war. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to the valley, as well as keep watch on what happens below. And for now, that means keeping watch on Regala's forces. 
I wish we had enough soldiers to do more than just look on. What makes the bulwark so impenetrable? It's made of massive boulders, impervious to any frontal assault. No army or machine has ever penetrated it. I am the only thing that can get you inside. If we're done talking, that is. You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. <clears throat> so, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Rogala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. <laughs> Let's get this over with. On me. How would you convince Dakota to send his challengers? I wouldn't. Come on. To knock the respect of Blade and the strength of the fighter who wields it. What good is anyone who lacks that? Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other Tanakh clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. When you left the Grove, how did you know I'd agree to help a Karja? When the chief wants to persuade someone, he succeeds. False alarm, I think. Or to say we check everything, so we check. You! No arm! We'll have to finish them! Good. Onwards to the bulwark.
Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a false sense of safety there. Send this to my stash. in the clearing. Take the lead. All clear. What's the word? I guess we scared them off. We were right to have a look around. Hey! Let's respect! Fight me! Alert! Together! For Rigala! This'll keep. Oh, fuck. Cross off. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Takote realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruined. Okay, well, maybe we can change his mind. We'd sooner move mountains.
Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. Might as well. You there! A marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, Marshal. I'll send the lift for you. Again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. Well, this is a warm welcome. An outlander and a maimed marshal. A spectacle. Reminds me of where I grew up. I never decided which was worse. When they shunned me, or when they stopped and stared. Right now, I prefer... All the snow's dampening sounds. We're here for Takote. Let us in. Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Route. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow. If he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls. Our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. 
And what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. You were a great warrior once. But that was then. But tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. I told you. Words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? might not be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. Stranger, are you looking to trade? <laughs> this will break my fall. Beaten already, Outlander. Oh, just you wait. I need to get a little distance from the wall in order to scan it properly. Okay, time to scan the wall. Time to scan the wall. <sighs> Just what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. I need to get closer. But how? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall. Near that waterfall. Hollow, maybe. The rocks here might give way if I pry at them. Now, 
Better scan that tank again. Power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. But how? Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. said you've been scurrying around the wall like a rat. What in the name of the ten have you been up to? Takote said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark. Right? Oh, don't remind me. So? We take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? Kind comparison. The rebels might have made camp northeast of here. And then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Pretty much, yeah. Well, you may lack sense, but you don't lack courage. So, um, back there with Dakota, it seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. I'll hold you to that. Getting close to where we saw the rebels before. Well, it looks like the rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? Move out! the big guy. You focus on the others. I'll follow you in. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Float up, squad. Soon we march. Machines weak the against Frost. The clan will fall.
open up.
for it. Oh, she's taking this armor off with the fucking plasma. I'm an idiot.
I wanna play with the mouse search. There was a purple something or other around here. Unless it got destroyed. It probably might have got destroyed. Oh, I didn't know there was a freaking. Oh no, there it is. To hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Hmm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. You fought well back there. I did not think we'd survive. But killing the rebels and the machine. It was good to take the fight to them for once. You really think this thing will do the job? I'll know soon enough. Kind of cool if you could just like Aloy has the the charger thing. They could have. Well, I guess that's part of his prod. I wonder how much snow is gonna pile up. Here it is. But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up. Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks so I can expose the power cell. It's working! Exploding. Isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the bulwark's feelings. 
Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves. And leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now. And take this cripple with you. behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaro. Never. Never. We will... We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon, let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challengers would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. Bitch. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takote's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the culvert. Good. We may need another miracle there as well. Maybe I should go up there, see if everyone's all right. And find this chaplain, Gara. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. Can I ask what you're arguing about? Oh, Sariva won't let it rest. She insists our comrade Farika flew on the wings of the Ten. But I say, hanging on to a Stormbird for dear life isn't the same. A Tanakh throwed a Stormbird? She went up in the air. But road is a strong word. Ha! Huh, you admit it. You're talking about her like she's no longer around. She's not. After she grabbed onto the machine, it flew off with her to that mountaintop. The Stormbird still circles the peak. 
we never saw Farika again. That's sad. What a way to go. I'll say. A shame no one can reach that mountaintop. She was a great soldier with armor to match, and it serves no one lying up there. I'm a pretty good climber. No doubt, but unless you want to try what Farika did, there's no realistic way to get up there. For now. I don't care what you say, she flew. She flailed, were you there? I saw it all in the distance. My brother will make it. Wings holding up? What's going on here? The Wallbreaker. Jekka's brother here went off to get himself killed. He'll finish the climb. I know it. <laughs> Not likely. My brother Pento left to climb the March of the Ten to get his soldier's mark. They were supposed to be done by now, but he's not back yet. Jekka! Lataka! To your training, now! Your brother should have stuck to his cleaning duties. Would you mind checking up on the March? If I leave, my squad leader will kick my ass. And I don't want anyone thinking I'm worried about my brother making the climb. Because I'm not. I get it. You can't miss the path markers. They're by the waterfall west of here. If I head that way, I'll see what's going on. Thank you. No slacking, soldier! I'm coming, I'm coming. Pento, you better stay safe. Shakes the mountain returns. Have a word with this old chaplain. You made it Are you Chaplain Jera? Catalo said I should talk to you to see if you need help. Bold move, Wallbreaker, burying Takote's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble. I, I was just at ease. Many in the clan agree with you, and Marshal Cotello was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light, against Takote's orders. Right. I remember Catalo showed up last, with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower, one we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing, it must be reclaimed, but those soldiers are serving no one out there. If, however, they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them, especially when their chaplain supports their return. Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Takote another black eye? Sounds easy enough. Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The watchtower stands beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there, the squad's leader. Good luck. Whoops. I guess we'll try this. What's going on here? Close combat training. Fighting at long range is a good strategy for machines. But fighting an enemy soldier means getting up in their face. I'm Arayo. My brother Varak and I run this training pit. We watched you bring down the bulwark. It made our day to see that arrogant commander so furious. You're welcome to train here. But you're only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit. Everything else stays with me. We also offer challenges for any fighters looking to test their skills. Complete all of them, and you'll go up against me and Barak. What happens if I beat you? I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this training pit. You earn marks from us and the pit masters in Scalding Spear and Thornmarsh. You'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. I think I've heard of the Enduring. Some kind of Tanakh trainer. Way more than just that. The Enduring is a legendary fighter among the clans. The master of masters. Only those who prove themselves in the pits get to train with the Enduring. 
Including Outlanders? You're no ordinary Outlander. So, what do you say? Let me know if you want to practice in the pit or take on a challenge. can't win a battle if you're dead, and distance will keep you alive. This combination gets you out of trouble and punishes your enemy. Near your tap or two. Okay. I am holding the survival on the battlefield is down to tactics. Your best target isn't always the closest. So select your target and strike.
watchtower. Much damage from fire. Frost shot. Shot. Oh, no resistance is fire.
Oh, I forgot it. I'll take it. This is coming with me. Another outpost for the rebels. Time to find whoever's in charge and take them out. Doing that. 
should try something other than fire. Blazing. This this one's killed. Okay. They spotted me. You! Do that.
I'm trying to egg the scorcher over here. for when I need it. No enemy can hide forever! I'm traveling down the mountain from this spot. Rebels won't be bothering anyone else.
Gonna keep them for now, until I figure out what to do with them. Well, I guess I should settle down. Alright, and this is where I'm going to leave the stream. Thank you for anybody who joined. Peace out.